Hey guys, and welcome back to our home lab misadventure. And the plan for today is very simple. We're going to learn about the next cloud and I'm going to show you how to set up your very own cloud server using the next cloud on a true NAS scale server. Whether you want to store your file securely on a private NAS server, access your data from anywhere or collaborate with others, next cloud on a true NAS scale is a very good option for you. So let's get started. And before we jump into the installation process, which is going to be straightforward, I'm going to show you all the commands. Let's try to understand why the Nextcloud app on a TrueNAS scale is a great option for private cloud setup. Well, first of all, the Nextcloud is an open source tool, which makes it absolutely free, self-hosted cloud platform that allows you to store, share, and collaborate on a files, documents securely. The TrueNAS scale also is a powerful storage operating system, which is also free, that provides enterprise level features and scalability. And together, combining the TrueNAS scale and uh, Nextcloud, you can create a reliable, free and customizable cloud solution for your personal and business needs. One of the key benefits of using the Nextcloud on a TrueNAS scale is the level of control and privacy it offers. Since you're hosting your own cloud server, you have a full control over your data and can ensure that it's stored securely on your own hardware. You are in control not only for the Nextcloud, but also for the NAS itself, which allows you to decide on a rate configuration, snapshots, their frequency, and other stuff. Plus, with the features like end-to-end -end encryption and two-factor authentication, you can more or less guarantee your data safety. But of course, you must not forget about patching your servers because that's very, very important. No matter of the security settings that you apply, if you are sitting on outdated version, either of TrueNAS scale or of the next cloud, it can definitely cause some problems in terms of security. So let's continue in the front end and I can show you right away that the version I'm running right now is a TrueNAS scale 23.10.2, which is the most recent version of the TrueNAS scale at the moment of recording this video, which is March 1, by the way. And uh, if you have something slightly different in the front end, in, in the graphic user interface, let's say in the data sets or in the apps, don't get scared. There is a chance that visually things look a little bit different, but in general, the functionality remains the same. So I'm sure you will be able to figure out which buttons you have to click. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a data set for our next cloud configuration. And basically, we will have to create a two data sets, one will be for the internal database of our next cloud server. And second will be the for the data that we're planning to store on our next cloud. And to do that, open the menu, click on the data sets, you have absolute control of how you want to form this like you can create some subdirectory and call it uh, apps configurations or whatever I for the sake of this uh, example will create everything in the root directory so I choose a home NAS then click add data set choose the name we will start with a database so I will type next cloud DB let's call it like this if you want you can provide some comments you don't need to change any settings for the sync compression level and enable a time or whatever else the only thing well no actually at this point we don't need to change anything simply because this will be internal database of the next cloud we are not planning to share it for the public use so even the share type can remain as generic click save, wait a couple of seconds, and you should have your data set ready. And the second data set that I need to create is for the next cloud data. So again, I will be creating it in the root directory. So don't forget to change this, click add data set, I will call it next cloud data. If you want, you can provide some comments, you're not required to change any other parameters, except the last one, like this time, the share type generic will not work, we need to choose apps. After selecting apps, click Save, it will take just a couple of seconds and your data set will be ready. When the data set is ready, right now you should have two folders. One is Nextcloud DB and the second one is the Nextcloud data, but we need to do the final change. By selecting the Nextcloud data, you need to click edit on the permissions. You need to check apply owner and apply group and change this from the root to www slash data on the boat, on the owner and also on the group settings. From that, you can apply permissions recursively, click confirm, yes, I understand everything and save ACL. So apply the settings. Again, it's gonna take a couple of seconds and the permissions should be up and running. So at this point, we have everything ready for configuring 
our next cloud and we can proceed with the app installation. In the Truna scale, you don't need to do some yum install, whatever, or, or do some heavy configuration management. It's fully enough to proceed to the menu apps. Here, you can click on the discover apps and we can search for the next cloud. Here is the next cloud. So click on that and from it, we can click install right the blue button click install please wait and this time again we need to fill in a couple of parameters where we are going to use the data sets that we just created application name next cloud is perfectly fine version yes it is the latest certificate configuration so if you want to use https instead of no certificate choose the one default that you have here that's going to work perfectly fine you're not required to change any timeouts ip address only thing that you need to do is change the password um, like to something that of course will be secure and nobody else will be able to guess uh, like the one that I've just entered. You also need to check install FFMPAG and install SMB client and what else? Max upload size, all the default settings should be perfectly fine. Then we continue with the storage configuration and this is the place where we're gonna use the data sets that we previously created. So we need to enable the host path for the Nextcloud data volume. Remember the data volume and we created the data set for the data. So that is the one that we need to choose right now. Home NAS and Nextcloud data, simple as that. Click and uh, yeah. No, we don't need to add, so delete this. Uh, and the second one is the Postgres storage. Remember, we created a data set for the database. So enable the host pad for the Postgres data volume. Click mount, uh, home NAS, and Nextcloud database. That's it. What else? Um, advanced DNS settings, scaling upgrade policy. We don't need any of that. Um, yeah, so we're good. And click install. Uh, we don't need resource uh, limits on the pods. We can click install and I will write, warn you right away. The installation process, of course, depending on your uh, hardware specs that you have on the server can take even up to like five or 10 minutes. Um, that's fine. So first of all, you will see the status deploying. Then maybe it's possible that in some case the deploying status will change to something else, but um, the app will still be not available you need to take a break, take like five or 10 minutes, make sure that this status will be actually showing running state, and then we will be able to access the web portal. So right now, let's make a break and give it a time to install. So if you see the green status running, everything is perfectly fine. You can of course see the workloads and what the containers are running and that they're up to date, but that doesn't bother at this stage. And the only thing that you need to do is click on a web portal, right and here account name is admin and a password is the one which you entered in the installation steps of the next cloud remember so the one that, that the, no one will be able to guess and i've actually entered the wrong password but don't worry everything is fine and this is the way how you can get uh your own next cloud server uh, right, we can change the status, we can customize it, whatever we want. Uh, you can create, add new apps, add a users. So all of the next configuration is basically about the next cloud itself, not about the installation process. If you want to get some tutorials about it, just let me know in the comments. If not, then thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next videos. Goodbye.